Well, this is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they?
Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know. While we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time.
So, seems like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samara involved. So instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok beast, he did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Sutter. All the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him, but there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim and the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion, a siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? your mind. I can't. Then I will tell you a story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? F is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. We 
you are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. <laughs> you once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes, but not on purpose. that will exist without me, whenever that day comes. For you, and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. I do feel your absence. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. as you have opened it to me, and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
would hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, General. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. 